Welcome everyone to Maverick Trading. Today we're exploring more of the interactive brokers TWS Trader Workstation tools. Perhaps you've wondered about how to build option strategies and get some ideas. Well, that's what the Option Strategy Lab is there for. I think you're going to enjoy this class. Let's get to it. So as you come in to interactive brokers, you'll see that if you hit this little drop down in trading tools, there are a bunch of different labs. Here you have an option strategy lab. So an option strategy lab is basically a scanning tool that really has some fun features here. So if I go into the strategy lab, I can edit the scanner, put in whatever stock I want to look at, and then put in my forecast. So let's say, let's go back to, to you know, some stock that we want to trade, let's say Microsoft, we'll just switch it up a little bit here. So now I've selected Microsoft as the stock, I have to enter my forecast. And so what is it you expect Microsoft to do? Do you expect it to go up or down or sideways? Well, let's say we think it's going to go down. So between now and, you know, maybe June expiration. So let's go out to June 17th. I think the price will fall will drop by uh, let's call it seven percent you know uh, something like that and I click done now watch what happens here first of all we have a chart over here and this is what's called a probability cone this is a one standard deviation move or the probability range where this stock is going to trade between now and different time periods right here's May Here's the middle of May, here's the 1st of June, here's the middle of June, here's the first day in July. This would be kind of out towards the middle of July. What we selected in our scan was we said middle of July, that July, or pardon me, middle of June, June 17th expiration. So it put your target right on the date that you specified. This is June 17th, and that's the price target that you set. If you think, you know what, uh, that's not quite right, I could just edit the scanner and say, I think it's going to be down 8%. I think it's going to get a, a little bit lower and see how that target went down. And maybe you say, instead of June, maybe I think I need until, you know, June 24th instead of the 17th, instead of the you know, 17th, I'm gonna, I need out till June 24th, but I think it's coming down here towards 255 per share. Well, now you've got a price target. And the reason this probability cone is helpful is it's telling you statistically whether that is likely to even be possible. Is the stock even likely to be, is it even possible for it to get to, you know, $300 per share by late June or down here to the 250s by late June. And this says, yes, it's very, very possible. But watch, if I set my target way outside of this, is it very probable that Microsoft is going to drop 20%? Well, that's not probable at all. If I change the criteria, it says, look, here's where it could, you know, probably be this, this yellow zone. For you to set a price target down here, it doesn't mean it's bad, but it's certainly outside of the statistics of what's probable to occur. That is just a super aggressive target. Now, maybe you think that's going to happen and, you know, maybe you think that's the right trade or whatnot. Well, there would be strategies for that. Like here, it's telling you, here are strategy ideas right up here. And so they're building little strategy ideas based on whatever you put in. And notice at the very top of the list, they say, well, you could just go buy a put. Heck, you could just buy a put option if you think it's going to collapse like that, because buying a put would be a great trade. There are some other strategies you could do as well, but you know those would be certainly strategies that you could look at. Now, if I wanted to take a closer look, I could uncheck things that I don't want to look at and just check in the things that I do. Here it would give me some idea of, you know, what 
what would that trade look like versus certain things happening. So here's your probability cone and your target was way down here to 221. So see your targets way out there, but it says, well, if you did this trade, right? If you did this trade that it's highlighting here, um, which is the June 24th, four by three, 235. So that's the green one. I'll have to scroll down. See the green check mark? It says if you put on this trade and the stock actually does that, that is a big payday. That Here's your profit, here's your losses, and you'd have a big payoff. But by the way, if the stock goes the wrong way, you'd have a big loss on that. But it gives you actually strategy ideas. I could uncheck that one and say, well, maybe I just want to you know, what does this one look like? Okay, well, if you did that and you just bought the June 235 put and the stock went down here, it would have a big payday. If it went the wrong way, well, it'd have a little bit of loss, not too dramatic. You know, maybe you like that risk graph given the probability. Let's come back to the more normalized target and say, well, you know, it might go down 7%. Now we're inside of the expected probability range. And again, you could select a few of these and kind of decide which one you want to look at. You might say, well, I'm not interested in that or that, but maybe I would be interested in that one. Maybe I'd be interested in this one, you know. And so I could click on a couple of these and look at their risk graph, look at where I make money, look at where I could lose money, what the, you know, the breakdown of that would be. Here's the buying of that put, well, I would make money, I would lose money. And so see, it has the strategy. You could even click on it and it pulls up the, the actual trade details. It says here, what you'd be doing is selling the 255 call and buying the 280 call for protection, a bear call spread. Well, it's going to give you this risk graph to it. You know, this risk graph in white is what that that strategy looks like. If I wanted this one, I can click on it and it says it's just buying a put option. Well, there's your white line. There's where you make money. And if it gets up to the target, I could put my cursor right on that target and see that I'm up about $1,159. Now, if it goes the wrong way, I'm losing. See the minus 500, minus 600, minus 700 and so on. If it goes this way, I'm making money. And if it gets to my target, which it has on the chart, that's how much I'd be up. So you can kind of play around with this, and it's got a really nice risk graph there that shows you the breakdown. You can change the stock. You can change the target. Um, it gives you strategy ideas. You could put in your own and see how that, that applies to the expected range. This big blue area is your your standard deviation, right? Your one, two, and three standard deviation move. The probability of being within one standard deviation is about 68%. The probability of being inside of two is 95. And the probability of being inside of three standard deviations is about 98%. But if we stick with this one standard deviation, we have a high probability of success that we could you know, be inside of that range. If you start setting your target way outside of that, it's a very, very low probability trade. So that's a fun tool, the Option Strategy Lab.